Welcome to Oji's Origami. This is going to be a beginner's pattern and we're going to make um, a seal. Actually it's going to be a pink seal today. I'm using pink paper on one side and it's white on the other side. And I'm going to be beginning with the white side up and I'm going to be folding corner to corner. Once your corners meet Hold it in place with one finger and slide back and crease the paper. That way you've got a real nice exact fold with the edges meeting and the points meeting. Once that point to point fold has been made, open it back up. And we're going to fold this edge here. We're going to fold it down to meet the center line. Okay. This edge is going to be folded over to meet the center line. Hold it in place and increase. And you're going to do the same thing with this edge. Okay, I'm just going to rotate my paper to make it easier for myself. Fold it over to meet the center line. You see that? So this edge, this edge is rolled up and folded over to meet the center line. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with these two edges. We're going to roll them over to meet the center line. This edge here is going to meet the center line. Okay, so it looks like this on one side, looks like this on the other side, right? And now we're going to start making one of the fins for the seal. We're going to lift up one edge of paper like this, open it up. We're going to slowly fold this edge back down and we're going to fold this edge back down at the same time, leaving this point sticking up like that. And then we're going to just slowly squeeze the paper so that the point becomes a fin, just like that. Did you see what I did? I lifted it up and then I made this into a point. And then I'm just going to lay it down and fold it down. So now it looks like this. Okay. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. I'm going to open up the page like that. I'm going to fold this edge back down and this edge back down. At the same time, leaving this point sticking up in the air like that. And then I'm just going to slowly squeeze the paper together to make a point. Just a nice point like that and then crease it all the way down here and then lay it down. And once it's laid down like that, turn it over and fold everything in half like that. And now we're going to make the neck of the seal. The neck of the seal is going to be 
Mm, it's going to be something like that. So if you can see an, an imaginary line, let's say from the center of your page, look at my pencil, from about the, about the center of your page here to maybe halfway between this point and this point, so let's say about there. So let's say, let's say there's an imaginary line like that. Then just fold it up on that imaginary line like that. All right, once you folded it up and you can, you can see that line now, open up your seal and you can see that sort of like the V line that you've just made. So now your neck is going to fold up on that line like that. Okay. And then the center line, you're going to fold it in half like that. See? So it's going to fold up. And as you put your two sides together like this, you're going to fold it in half on the center line like such. Okay. And then squeeze it right here. Like that. It's a, it's a, this is called an inside reverse fold. Okay, I'm going to do it again. You're going to open it up. You're going to pick up the neck. You're going to squeeze the body back together. And as you squeeze the body back together, this is folded in half like that. And then you're squeezing on this line here. Okay. Now to make that the head of the seal, we're going to fold the head down and you can choose the size of your head that you want. Mind you, you don't want a, a huge head like that. It's going to look like a bird. A seal in relation to its body has a relatively small head. So it's going to be something like this. See that? So all I did was I just folded this over like that. Now, once you've made that permanent line like that, open it back up. And then, once it's opened up, you're going to pull the head down just like that. And you're going to fold it on those lines that you just made. Right there, so you're going to pull the head back down on that line, fold your neck in half again, and that's going to be the head of your seal, just like that. And then the tail. I'm just going to turn it around. The tail is going to be a similar kind of fold. Okay. Again, we want it sticking up just a bit. So I'm just going to fold it maybe like this. See that? I just give it a little fold up like that. And once again, you've made those guidelines. Open up your seal. And then the tail is going to be lifted up like that, lifted up, folded in half on its center line like that, and then put the body of your seal back together. Again, it's called an inside reverse fold. So that's the tail. Now, to finish off the, the flippers for your seal, with these points here, you're going to fold this, this edge right here. You're going to fold it in half to meet this vertical line. Just like that. 
okay so this edge is folded over to meet the center line like that turn your page over and do the same thing this edge here is folded over to meet the center line just like that give it a good crease and there's your seal There's, there's your pink seal. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Oji's Origami. Thank you very much for watching today, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.